as how you and the team executed that sprint? Um, yeah, until I think everybody that had a plan, every team, it kind of didn't come to fruition in the final four. Then there was no team in control. Okay, Jumbo got into the narrow roads, good, but then my boys got me exactly there where I wanted to be. So we were good there, but then I think for every team, it just became chaos in the in the final. The corners tight and tight, and um, just it's just a mix and pot of uh, of riders. There's a crash. I think Louis's gone down, so I'm a bit nervous there. To be fair, um, but yeah, what can I do? I knew. I seen. I, I looked around, and the only guy that had really a lead on my left was um, that I could have jumped on was Mads. He had Stuyven, I think. So I just thought, bam! I get on him. Stuyven will go. And just waiting, waiting for them to go. But they'll go. Probably Mads has to hit out to headwind, so you want to leave as late as possible. And he just didn't go, and I was like, I had, at one point I thought I should have gone like 350. I wouldn't have won. Someone would have passed me, but. I had to give myself a better shot, if that makes sense. The headwind, there's not much you can do. Um, but I, I just waited for him to go. I gambled on them going, the gap fill, and I seen them all jump. And uh, I, I, I like, audibly went, like, swear word, you know? <laughs> and uh, before I even sprinted, and then it was just making the most of it. I knew I couldn't win once he got the jump on me, so.